Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I am here with the very first beta of iOS 14.2. No, I am not misspeaking. No, that is not a typo. It is really iOS 14.2. We never saw iOS 14.1. It never existed uh, as far as developers have been concerned. We have just now seen the first beta of iOS 14.2. So it seems Apple is going full force with 14.2 and we may never see iOS 14.1. Now, this first beta after the release of iOS 14 is likely to contain features that Apple just didn't have time to bake in or complete with iOS 14 itself. So if we go looking through the OS, notice here the Apple Watch icon. Yes, the Apple Watch icon, minor tweak there. This, of course, couldn't be contained in the original one, uh, at least in the beta process, because that is the new Solo Loop. You can see our old one here on the right. It has been updated. It has a new color for that digital crown and the solo loop band rather than the traditional sports band. So a small update there to the Apple Watch app icon. If we jump now into settings, we're going to go back a tick and check out doo -doo -doo, control center. So we have a new option here. That part way down, we have this music recognition. And yes, that is the Shazam icon. Music recognition, Shazam, coming now to Control Center. I'm also going to add magnifier. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. So we're going to go back, open Control Center, and as you can see, we have a new Shazam icon right here in Control Center now part of iOS 14.2, so it makes it very easy to identify music and audio right here from Control Center. You don't have to open an app, you don't have to create a shortcut, and you don't have to invoke Siri. You can now just access that uh, Shazam control right here from within Control Center. Now, Magnifier, when we launch this as its app on its own, we have a new option in here. We go into Magnifier Settings, we have People Detection. Magnifier basically helps uh, you see it increases contrast or brightness around you, but it also now can help with people detection. So if we go ahead and turn that on, hit done, you can see we have a new people detection icon there on that right hand side of the app. Now we're just here at our desk. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like when we're actually pointing our phone at a person. So here we are, we point our phone at a person and it's able to use augmented reality to identify that that person is three feet away from us. So it's able to identify a person, pinpoint them on there and know that they are three feet away from where we are standing. So a very cool update to the Magnifier Accessibility app here in iOS 14.2. Finally, with iOS 14.2, we have updated media controls here inside a control center. Now, if you guys are familiar with how these looked before, they didn't look like too much. But if we go ahead and tap on play, and jump into our new media controls. We have this much nicer artwork, much better looking controls, just overall improved from how this looked before. So we really love the new media controls here as part of iOS 14.2. Overall, this is a solid update for the first beta of iOS 14.2. We got that new Apple Watch app icon, people detection inside the magnifier app, new media controls inside of Control Center, and Shazam controls inside of, Shazam, inside of Control Center. Definitely some welcome changes this time around. Stay tuned to Apple Insider for further updates with iOS 14 and all of Apple's other software.